We have all heard the fact that the United States leads the world in mass incarceration, but have you ever wondered why? Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'll give you a brief history lesson. In the 1970s, violent crime was on the rise, with the increase of gang violence and street muggings. To combat this, the 1980s were spent with a public approach on being tough on crime, such as campaigns of the war on drugs. By the time crime started steadily decreasing in the 1990s, the amount of incarcerated individuals continued increasing exponentially. Crime has decreased 50% in the last few decades, but the number of incarcerated individuals is higher than it's ever been. Why are people being incarcerated at such a high rate? The American prison system has been built to answer to the most vulnerable parts of our society, such as people suffering from poverty, mental illness, homelessness, and LGBTQ individuals among any, many other vulnerable groups. Another factor is mandatory minimums, which increased the overall time spent in prison. The selection process for who is incarcerated is also not random. The prison population is made up of 40% African Americans, when they only represent 14% of the population. The Hispanic prison population has also increased 50% in the last decade. Also, regardless of what race you are, being poor automatically increases your chances of being incarcerated. Hello everybody, my name is Angie Morello Diaz. I am a sophomore here at Perimeter College and I'm here to briefly introduce you to what GSU PEP is all about. GSU PEP stands for Georgia State University Prison Education Project, which is a nonprofit organization that relies solely on donations to perform its work. And the way that this project started was back in 2016 through a partnership with Common Good Atlanta at Phillips State Prison. And Common Good Atlanta is another organization that works to bring education into prison. The goal of GSU PEP is to bring higher education into prisons to facilitate education for those who have been incarcerated and are currently incarcerated, as well as to educate non-campus students about the issues of mass incarceration. Um, and now I can send you over to our professor, Owen Cantrell, and he can tell you more about this program through his personal experiences. So the Georgia State University Prison Education Project started in 2016. So it was a collaboration with Georgia State University and Common Good Atlanta. Uh, we worked together at Phillips State Prison, one of our prison sites, to offer uh, a college course, English 1101, to a group of about 15 students there. So in order for potential students to be admitted, um, they have to go through the regular admissions process that any perimeter college students do. So they have to uh, submit an application, uh, provide proof of lawful presence, uh, complete an AccuPlacer test, and um, provide high school transcripts or GED transcripts. So it's the same process for all perimeter students. They just have to do it while incarcerated. So that does present challenges of getting the material, uh, but it's the same process. The most common misconception people have when they hear about what we do is usually they think that it's very dangerous uh, for us to go into prisons. Prisons are, of course, dangerous environments, um, but my students are just my students. So I treat them the same way I would students on any campus. Um, I feel very safe there in the classroom with my students. And probably the other misconception people have the most is that they think um, the students have a lot of time to complete the work, that they have plenty of time to do this project, they don't have anything else going on. But many of the students work jobs that they're not paid for, um, and they have other obligations there in the prison. And also just a prison environment isn't always the most conducive to learning. So often people say, oh, it must be easy since they don't have anything else to do. They really have a lot to do and a lot of other challenges that they face being incarcerated uh, that makes it harder for them to learn. What you also learn in GSU PEP, we also see civil activists, civil rights leaders that were also locked up away. They write stories and tell so much about what's going on behind bars where the camera is not being shown. We get to have a personal experience. We see novels, books written about the experience of people who were incarcerated and then talking about their struggles trying to fit in back into society. Participating in GSU PEP means making an impact in and outside of the classroom. Your graded projects are public facing, meaning you'll be creating media directly for use by GSU PEP. Quizzes and midterms are traded for group projects that spread awareness of GSU PEP and its mission. The information you learn during this class may push the boundaries of what you know about prison today and challenge your perspective on incarcerated Americans and the students GSU PEP impacts on a daily basis. You are working on the same degrees and credit courses as your incarcerated GSU PEP counterparts who are working under louder, less forgiving conditions, often late into the night. This class will not only appeal to those who work well with others, 
but for those who want to connect to a marginalized community with dignity and respect. In Georgia, two out of three incarcerated individuals will return to prison once released. The current recidivism rate of released GSU PEP participants is 5%. That's one of 20. Your participation makes an impact on the lives of students who depend on this program for their scholarly and real-world successes. So I think anyone I, who uh, might have a misconstrued view about ed, what prison uh, education is about, I'd probably say, you know, it's something that's universally beneficial for everyone in society. 95% of people who are in prison are going to get out. So when they get out, we want to make sure they have access to um, they have the, the, the opportunity to provide uh, a better life for themselves and those around them. And education is the best way to do that. So if people in prison are getting college degrees, they're much less likely to, to reoffend when they get out. They're much more likely to be a positive contributor to society, to be a taxpayer, all the rest of that. So the prison education isn't, isn't a charity, it's actually an investment in uh, a better society. Thank you so much for your time and watching our video on GSU PET. We hope that we have inspired your participation in GSU PET. For more information, go down into the description below and join us in our educational prison project.